Sure. So we did two things. First of all, we built a model. We spent 18 months uh, working with our analysts and our technology department to build a model um, to come up with sentiment scores for every research report that we do, from plus 100 to, to minus 100, for a very positive report or, or a negative report. Coming up with the score for whether it's positive or negative is, is easy enough. Uh, we can find that out by reading the research ourselves. But the conviction behind it is a lot harder, uh, and you really need There's a lot the of nuance in there in the report. That's right, right. Mm -hmm. and you need the feedback from the analyst to make sure the machine is is getting that right. Uh, so after 18 months, uh, we feel that we've uh, we've built that model. Uh, the scores were positive, and uh, and we've then used that to come up with a trading strategy um, behind those those uh, scores. So did the machines read the reports and then talk to the analysts? What <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, that's a good question. How, how did it work? Yeah, no, so, so you feed the, the reports into the machine, and initially the machine will come up with a, a score, but then the important thing oh, is... Of the conviction. Conviction. So um, How it's, much it's do you really positive mean and this? negative, but then also is it, we think it's positive or mm -hmm. absolutely certain this analyst is really, really convinced. Uh, but what's important initially when you teach the machine really how to read these reports is to validate or reject what the, what, what the computer thinks, so what the machine thinks. So that's where the human That's where the analyst comes still in. comes in. So it's not the machines taking over, it's the machines collaborating with the, with the analyst. But it's because they have to learn, and eventually the machines will understand the analyst's language better and can do it on their own. Absolutely. So what was the outperformance compared to the S&P 500? Yeah, so what, what we found is that if you look at the, the top quartile of reports, so with the highest scores compared to the bottom quartile, so the most negative, uh, there's about a seven, 800 basis points spread in performance on on an annualized basis. So the trading strategy is if you buy those top stocks and you go short the, the bottom stocks and you do that on a systematic basis, um, you, you, you get a sharp ratio of about 1.2. And what that means is that you, you, outperform, you outperform the market. Or there's, there's, there's real signal behind so that. So what was the goal of this? Was this to, to prove that Morgan Stanley Research is, is accurate or is this to come up with a model that you can then somehow sell to clients in some way? The, the, the objective was initially, can we machine read our own, own research? Mm -hmm. uh, but then it's really to come up with strategies where we can help our, our investors uh, to, to make money, uh, to drive alpha. Okay. Lou, thank you. Fascinating stuff. Lou Do Perry. the machines and the analysts go out for a beer after all this and hang out? That's maybe the next stage. Maybe no, the not next yet. Stage, yeah. <laughs>